Okay, since uh, we already organized the batches, so the next step will be uh, they ask us to enter the transaction, enter double entry to paste transactions into batch 5 cash book bank by using enter methods below and entry into entry. Right, okay, so guys, so there are two types in order to enter the transaction. Okay, are the dual methods. The first one is add button and the second one is hit entry button. Um, right, so for the add entry button, when you have to key in the transactions one by one, meaning here, uh, the transactions of course have another debit and credit, right? So you have to enter the debit part and also the credit part, which is one by one. But while for the quick entry, the number ni pun quick cepat, you uh, only have to key in uh, one of it. Okay, either one. Contoh, katakanlah you want to enter the debit part. Uh, so yang the credit part ni dia dah automatically key in for you ok dia dah tolong prepackkan for you so you don't have to uh, key in lagi dah ok so there is what uh, we call them as quick entry dia tolong menyenangkan kita lah right so saya prefer sebenarnya my student to use the quick entry sebab add entry ini dia akan jadi lambat and, and you are tend to do uh, a lot of mistakes where you forgot uh, apa sama ada the transactions both of sides both sides debit or credit tu uh, you dah key in ke belum ok probably you just langkau ataupun uh, forward to the next transactions you lupa nak key in the credit part probably ok so nanti dia akan jadi tak tally lah sebenarnya right ok so in order to enter the transactions you have to go to the for two oh, sorry for one ok for one transaction And number one transaction file maintenance that akan keluar satu window baru like this one. Right, so you will see, okay, semua button ini tidak, uh, sorry, semua uh, ruangan ini tidak boleh diisi pun sebenarnya. Okay, yang yang appear hanya adalah quick button, add button, and also exit button. Right, so this is what I told before, which is this the quick button and also the add button, add entry and quick entry sama. Eh? Right, so the add button kita um, buat satu persatu debit side and also credit side and the quick one uh, kita buat either one kita key in either one sama ada you want to key in the debit and credit will be automatically transferred or else you key in the credit and the debit will be automatically it automatically key in for you. Right, so I will not teach you on how to use the add button so kita straightforward to use the quick button because In the final exam later on, your final exam will be the practical one which is you have to key in all the transactions by using the UBS. So perhaps by using the quick button will help you to, uh, you know, to prepare the answer secara cepat lah and sebenarnya pun memudahkan you. Okay. So, click the quick button and there is a new window where ada master account eh dekat sini so please remember the master account adalah account yang you tak nak buat ok ataupun account itu sentiasa berulang so perhaps like that one lah sebab kalau account tu sentiasa berulang kenapa you nak buat dia banyak kali ok uh, contoh katakanlah you bayar supplier pakai check guna check and you bayar all the expenses by check So, which is check is from the bank, right? So, why not you mix bank as the master account? Which is, you tak payahlah buat bank dah. Sebab bank itu kan sentiasa berulang, berulang, berulang. Jadi, tak payah buat bank. So, mix them as the master account. Right? So, remember, master account adalah account yang you tak nak buat ataupun account yang sentiasa berulang. Contoh, kita refer to the question where um, these are the transactions. Okay, these are the transaction. Contoh macam ni ni ya. Saya ke paragraph ni. You tengok. It's all about the purchases. So, perhaps you can choose purchases as the master account. But, dia sentiasa berulang. Yang tak berulangnya adalah uh, dia punya figure lah. Okay, dia punya figure. Right, so macam ni pun sebenarnya dia dia purchase by check. Purchase by check. Purchase by check. Check ini from the bank. Bank also sentiasa berulang. Tapi, I would like to remind you guys uh, and I would like to recommend you guys uh, if the transactions related to purchases or sales uh, 
preferably if you can make them as the master account. Contoh, katakanlah transaction T2 related kepada purchases. Okay, tak kisahlah kawannya tu contoh macam ini kan, bank kan. Kawannya tu pun sentiasa berulang juga. But make purchases as the master account. Okay, contoh, katakanlah uh, those transactions related to sales. Contoh macam ni. Semua pasal sales kan. And also, uh, you receive the payment by check, which is from the bank as well. But bank pun sudah seberulang juga dekat sini. But then, please make sale as the master account. Right? Because, uh, I will show it to you later. Uh, kenapa dua uh, accounts ini preferably uh, make them as the purchases. Right? So, uh, don't forget for the first transactions. Okay, first paragraph ini also contain of the transactions as well.